minutes before 7 o'clock, we want to get back to this breaking news of this huge house fire in South Charlotte. This happening on Masters Court between Carmel and Colony Roads near Charlotte Country Day School. It's where we find our Mary Calkins who just arrived at the scene. Mary, the images, what you're seeing behind you is pretty incredible. Walk us through what you know so far. Mary, just in the last maybe 20 minutes that our crew has been here, we've seen flames absolutely engulf this home, just overwhelming the home um, and fire. I just spoke with a neighbor. He's the one who made the phone call to 911. He said he called it about 5.45 a.m. He said he saw smoke um, and he saw flames, and that's when he made the call. Char Charlotte Fire is here, and they've been working to put out the flames, but um, the home you can see has just been overtaken by the heat and by the fire. Um, now, the homeowner that I spoke with, he did not own this home, but he lives next door. What he did tell me is that um, this is a new build, a new construction. No one lived in it yet, but it was ready to be moved into next month. He said that um, someone already owned the home, but the good news is that no one he says, according um, to this neighbor, he says no one was in the home at the time. Of course, we are reaching out to medic to just to make sure that no one was in the home. Um, so we're going to let you know if we find out about any injuries. Um, and so we are going to be staying on this. And I'm going to be here um, coming up in the 7 o'clock hour with Abby Tedros to talk about this a little bit more. Mary. Mary, do you know when exactly the call came in? How long have they been fighting this fire for already? Yeah, Mary, this call came in just before 6 a.m. That neighbor told me he said he made that call about 5.45 a.m. So just a little bit. Let's see, it's uh, 6.53 now. So just a little bit over an hour ago is when that neighbor said that he woke up um, and, and he saw the smoke and he saw the flames. And that is when um, he made the call. A lot of neighbors have been out here um, all morning just um, just saying they, they were telling me that they were just praying that um, everyone is OK. And, and hopefully that there was um, homeowners insurance, because like I said, this was a new build. Someone moving in next month, Mary. All right, uh, Mary, let me ask you this as well. I know sometimes these really intense fires can spread to other homes uh, if they're nearby. Uh, what is it like out there? I mean, as far as other homes, are, are they close to this home or, or what's it like out there? Yeah, that's a great question, John. I kind of want to show you. So if you look right here, this is also this is like a, a new construction plot. There is no home here, though. Now, and then if you look a little bit farther down towards the home that is um, engulfed in flames, there is a small um, kind of like a pool house next to it that has actually been untouched. And then there are no homes until another neighbor's house that has not been engulfed in flames. So really, John, all of the flames have been um, confined to this one home, this new build here. All right, our Mary Calkins live from South Charlotte, where you see this home's been destroyed by fires. Again, this is a new build. No one was living in this home. Firefighters are still on the scene. It's an active scene out there. So just be aware of that if you're traveling in that area. Yeah, it's the Carmel Country Club. Many people live in and around this area, commute in this way. You likely will see that smoke on your way in this morning. So something we'll keep you updated on as we learn more. Uh, speaking of making your way in, maybe you have to head out the door. We want to get you updated on first alert traffic. Becca